Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you, peace about your friends and let us have some good time together. You know, when Muslims, they speak and they praise their religion, we die laughing, literally. And today I will show you an example. You know, this guy, the ketchup boy, he have a thumbnail in his videos. And imagine he is the one who is making them, not me. You know, like, it might be acceptable that Christian Prince is making such a thing. Because a Christian Prince is against Islam, right? And he want to show people that Islam is evil and filthy and is good only for pervert. But the funny is that he is the one who is making those thumbnails for his videos. So it is like a clickbait. So people will click. And how we can advertise for Allah. Look, Sheikh Uthman is telling you, this guy in the screen, he said to him, I want four wives. <laughs> And Sheikh Uthman, he love it. And not only that, look, this guy in the screen, he said to Uthman, I want 72 versions in the age of Aisha. And Uthman, he love it. You see, if there is somebody he is inviting me to a religion and he is promoting in his thumbnail why this person is interested in my religion what is the interest he want to f muslim women as much as he can and sheikh uthman he is so happy that this man he have an interest to f muslim women and the funny by the way uh, if you see in the screen it's here here he wants 72 versions but do you know that those versions are not? Let us go and do what we do always. We spank Muhammad and we have no mercy on his dead soul. If we go to the hadith, uh, Muhammad, he said that Allah, he is going to import from the hellfire special women for sex there are women in the hellfire so what muhammad he said and i will put the hadith for you on the screen let me give you a second i'm searching for it that a muslim he will have a penis will never go limp and this is tenas who is muhammad is the penis prophet and he have a penis God. But speaking of the versions, many people they keep talking about the versions, the versions, the versions, the versions, the versions, right? But if you go and read what Muhammad he said, you will find that those not versions, they are fake versions. You know, in the Middle East, there is something called version again, where Muslim women, they go and buy product made in China, where it's like just a case of uh, uh, liquid, look like blood, but it's not the blood. So when a man, he have intercourse with the bride first night, you know, she act like she is in pain and then there is a blood is coming, but the fact she is not virgin. You can watch a video, she's a Muslim woman, her name is Foxy, and she exposed all the tricks Muslim women they do in the wedding night. Or even they have sex in wrong locations so they can stay virgin in the other location. Uh, so if we go in the hadith here, you will see the following. And the Muslim, they will say to you, da'if, because Islam is a da'if. Da'if mean weak, but this is mean it's still approved. This is why it's there. There's none of you, Muhammad, he swear. And Muhammad always, he swear, you know, uh, as usual. Because using the name of God in vain, his God is fake. And even his God, he said to the Muslims, you can swear in my name lying. Allah will not take you accountable for your false oath. For your false oath. Here you will see, it was narrated by Abu uh, Umma, Umama, sorry. The Messenger of Allah said, there's none one of you will Allah admit to paradise, but Allah will marry him to 72 wives. Two from the Huris, and 70 from his inheritance from the people of hell all whom of whom will have desirable front passages 
and he will have a male member that will never become flaccid, i.e. soft, so excuse me, i.e. soft and limp. <clears throat> So uh, Muhammad, because he have a problem with his penis, always it's soft. If you remember, there's a hadith. Muhammad, he says, I was the most weak person between mankind. And then invoke, I invoked Allah. Uh, and he sent me a dish, it's called Al-Kufayt. And then I get the power of 40 men. So Muhammad, obviously, from his mouth, he admit that his penis is always a flaccid. He is struggling. He have a, his, you know, a, a sexual problem. Uh, and if a Muslim he say this is not true, you know, I will open my Skype actually. Actually, my Skype is open. If you are a Muslim, just text me and I will call you. And you can question anything I'm showing on the screen because as you see, those are Islamic books. I'm not making things up. But if you look with me here, when the Muslim they say that we will have 72 versions, that's absolutely stupid of them. They don't understand the religion. They are not versions. There's only two versions. And those are the whore. The rest of the 70 are women who they are already in hell. So how they are virgins. And they are women, not girls. And those women who they are in hell, why they are taken out of hell? Because they have nice boobs and nice vagina. You know, there is a, a, a Muslim, he, he decided to refute me. He says, where it says that this is about boobs, desirable front passages, doesn't mean boobs. Well, I want to ask the Muslims, whoever a Muslim, he would like to join us. What is the desirable front passages of the women? And why they are imported from hellfire? What is their qualification? They have one qualification. They have desirable sexually front passages and as you see it says passages so what are they the passages any muslim can tell us no answer so uh, uh but going back to the thumbnail Othman he did and I'm very glad that he do it. I don't know what software he is using. I like his software Othman. Uh, thank you for you know helping me to make things easier. Uh, please do more. So when when uh, when a Muslim he is so happy look how happy he is that the guy and look this is the top of his video the top of the like the, the, this is the cheese of the video. Why the guy is interested in Islam he want to F Muslim women And Sheikh Uthman is so excited to have a new effort. So this is the religion of a pervert. And actually, Sheikh Uthman, he made a new uh, uh, thumb that uh, he put the, the picture of this guy, the pimp, who have a porn website, who converted to Islam, supposedly. But, and he said, why Islam? Why Islam? But don't you see why Islam? Islam is a religion very attractive for those who they are in love with violence and they are pervert, child molesters pimps and the proof is your thumbnail not mine you see none of those people are seeking holiness they are seeking sex they are pervert can you deny that this is your thumbnail in your channel can you deny that this is not you making this nail which i'm nailing you with <laughs> can you deny that this is your channel and I just copy the thumbnail from there. Can you? I'm so glad that those people, they are so in low IQ. Their IQ is so low, the same as their ethic is so low the same as their god is so low the same as their prophet is so low but they are so low to the point they make they make a thumbnail exposing why look this thumbnail here says why islam well the why is explain, explained they are pervert
And what is the proof they are pervert? One is a owner of a pimp website. He made a lot of money from women vagina, human trafficking. The other one is in your channel and you are the one who is making the thump saying I want an F-72 versions. And you yourself, you choose from the video you made, what is the most important in this video? What is the most important, this guy who is a pervert, obviously, and he's a scammer. What he want from Islam, why he like Islam. You highlighted yourself, what is the interest of this person in Islam? What is exactly his interest? You are the one who made the arrow. You are the one who made the thumb. You are the one who made the statement. And we are just reading. 72 versions. What he want? He wants 72 versions. And he want now four wives. Now, by the way, I challenge Uthman, he himself to have four wives in California. He will end in jail, but he's a potato. But maybe for sure he do muta in his mosque. Muslim women, they offer to marry him temporarily marriage, and he married them for a day or two, but secretly, because this is, would be against the law, and he don't dare to practice his law against California law, for he is a potato. In the same time, in the thumbnail, Sheikh Uthman, he said, if we can call him Sheikh, he called himself Sheikh, so we will call him Sheikh, it's okay. That's even more horrible. He says, hypocrisy of West, incest in the Bible. You know, the son of Muta, he's talking about incest when he's a prophet, he married his own son wife. He's talking about incest when the Quran says you can if your daughter if she is a daughter from adultery. In the same time, I challenge them to find me where in the Bible God, he approve anyone to do incest. The hypocrisy of the Muhammadan is beyond shit. Even shit is more clean than their hypocrisy. Excuse my language. Do this man dare even to take a call from me? For sure he don't. All of them, they are coward, cowards. And eight, every time we showed the, 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 uh, 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 the low ethic of Muhammad, what is the answer? No answer. What is the answer? When Muhammad, he went to his own son wife and he flirted with her. When the book of Al-Qurtubi and the Quran says that when the prophet, he went to his, uh, 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 you know, uh, to a friend, and uh, the friend he want to know like how uh, what is what is legitimate to 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 marry what is what is right to consider a lineage muhammad he gave him a verse saying that you know what you can f your daughter and actually i'm going to search for a fatwa i just remember now he is a muslim sunni And I challenge any Muslim to say, I'm lying. Let us see. <laughs> Again, my Skype is open. And if there's any Muslim there, he is more than welcome to call us. <clears throat> I found already what I'm looking for. And just I'm looking for more official website so Muslim don't say what well, this is just uh, anything uh, let us see
I hope that Google Translation today is working so we can show you. Here we go. Let us put this for you in the screen and I will give you the link so all of you will die laughing at the pervert religion of Muhammad. The book name is Kitabul Binaya, Sharhul Hidayah. And the one we are talking about is one of the founder of one of the biggest you know, sect in Islam, Hanifa. So what, what Ibn Hanifa or Hanifa he says? The one who effed his mother and he married her. His what? His mother. Hey Muslims, the one who if his mother the man who married a woman and he did if her and this woman she is not lawful for him. What is the what is the penalty? No penalty. Let us read together. Maybe he did not say his her mother, maybe Christian Prince is lying. Let us see. Here we go. The one who married from women, she is not lawful for him. Like, like example, if in a forbidden woman, like your mother, your sister, your daughter, or the one who is divorced three times, which means he divorced her and he is effing her again. And a woman, she been effed by other one or married to other one. Or a woman, she got divorced, but she did not finish her period to wait. And... If in a woman she have she is carrying a child, but she is not clear because of their husband, previous husband. And then they continue. Look how far they go. Let us go down. <laughs> Where he mentioned that? Let me see. I just okay. Uh, which page which page I'm just trying to find Hmm. I'm just trying to find exactly where it says in the phrase that statement. Maybe not in this page. Give me a second. You know, it's a book. But I need to find the exact the exact statement. Uh, let us see. Anyway, already there it says all the women who they are forbidden for him, still he marry her, and there is no punishment for that. But I want to show the exact phrase where it says you can if your mother, and there is no penalty for that. Um, let us see.
Actually, I, I found it in a video, uh, but I want uh, in the book, not just in a video. Here we go. I think this is better. All right. Uh, this website is not allowing me to copy. Let us see. I can use the website I have, but I want something more uh, professional. Give us the page number, the you know exactly where you know where, where we can read. So if you guys have an argument with Muslims, you can give them reference, not only just making a statement. Oh, hold on, I found, I think, something. Here we go. Finally, we found something official. All right. You know, sometimes it takes us a little bit of time. Uh, but it's worth it. So let us put for you the page. Here. We have, you know, Ibn Hazm is, a, is someone, the Muslim Sunni, like uh, Dudu, Mimi, Susu, Fifi, they love to quote him. So this is a very well-known scholar. Value number 11, page number 253. It says here, the one who married his mother or his daughter, or a woman she is forbidden for him, or he had fornication with them, not married. All of this is a fornication. Doesn't matter if he knew, if it was uh, uh, like, uh, uh, if it's marriage or not. Especially if he knew that this woman she is forbidden for him. And then he continue and he say, Abu Hanifa, and he is the founder of the biggest Muslim Sunni sect. So you can say like there's maybe 300, 400, I don't know, 500 million Muslims. They follow this man. He is, the, he is their sect founder. He said, Abu Hanifa, he said, the one who did, if his mother, his daughter, his sister, no penalty on him. Even if he, if his mother, which he, she gave birth to him, and his daughter, and his sister, and his grandmother, and his auntie, and his auntie from the other side, and the, his niece, and the daughter of his niece, even though he knew that they are relative to him, 
there's no penalty for them. He have only to pay them money. Let us use Google Translation. Thank God Google now is working. Let's move the web, uh, page here. I mean, can you believe such a garbage? And this coward, he is speaking about incest. I will give you the link so you guys can save it. But let us use Google Translation in the front of your eyes. And I challenge any Muslim to say Christian Prince is lying. This is not what it says CP. So this is the name of the book in the front of you. This is the scholar name, Ibn Hazm, very big, big name in the gang and the pervert religion of Islam. Part number 11, verse number 11, page number 253. We go all the way to the end of the page because this is where the cheese is. Page number 253. It says, this is, remember, this is Google translation, right? This is Google translation. So if a man he did, if his mother, Abu Hanifa said, who said that? Abu Hanifa said, if he, if his mother, If he married his mother, the one who gave, if or married, doesn't matter, the one who gave birth to him, and he, if his daughter, and he, if his sister, and he, if his auntie, like, you know, in Arabic, we, we, we differentiate between the ants from your mother's side, or like, we have different words, but, you know, like in English, it becomes just ant, ant, you know, so, and, you, you f your sister, you f your mother, you f her, you, you f your daughter, and now you f your auntie from your mother's side, you f your auntie from your father's side, you f your niece, your niece. He f his sister, he f the daughter of his sister, he f all the kingship of he, he have, knowing that they were forbidden for him to have intercourse. He knows he paid them their dowry. And there's no punishment on him. Who won the link? Who is a Muslim? He want to want the link so he can refute me. So you can use it against me. Any Muslim? Let me shorten the link because it has Arabic. I don't know if the Arabic will go. I think Arabic will not go through. Uh, like link have Arabic title, uh, like address. It is uh, link short. All right. All right. I just made a link. Let me know, please, if you can open it. So how this coward, he speak that the Bible have incest. The Bible have stories about people doing incest, but not God. He says, you can do that. And there's a huge difference. Here we have their books saying that you have to pay them their dowry and there's no punishment. You see the translation here is not coming accurate, but anyone who speak Arabic, he can see it. No punishment on this man. He have to pay them their dowry. In different place, here it says, actually, if you go up a little bit here, 
you will see more details about having intercourse with those women. Long list of women. Let me zoom here. So a Muslim will say where it says there is no punishment on him. Here we go. La had, you know, had in Islam is uh, the extreme punishment, like, you know, uh, let us say a woman, she is married, you do for, you know, fornicate with her, he copied from the law of Moses, uh, you will be stoned. Uh, they will, uh, if you are a single person, they will whip your back like a hundred times. Some Shia, they say 80, you know, depend like in the mood and who is the one you are beating. So here it says there's no head, but we punish him. How we punish him? He have to pay the dowry. In fact, I challenge the Muslim to show me in the Quran, where is the punishment for somebody have sexual intercourse with his sister? Where in the Quran it says there is a punishment for having sex with your mother? And actually, where Muhammad he says you cannot do that? In the same time, why Abu Hanifa is saying there is no penalty? His mother, his sister, his daughter, his grandmother, his niece, his auntie, who is left? The guy, he will F the whole family. And this is why Islam is very attractive because, you know, the Muslim, even the Muslim, they say Islam is so easy. I agree. Islam is so easy. Islam is just the effing cult. Islam is just very, very effing cult. Everything in this cult is based on effing. Sex, penis, vagina. This is why we see Muhammad. He trying to tempt pervert men. Not all men will be tempted by this. By promising them a penis will never go limp. Have you ever heard of a prophet of God standing in the crowd saying, Don't you want to have a strong penis? Allah will give you strong penis. Don't you want to have a penis will never go limp? Allah is the God of non limb penis. Then you need to ask yourself what God we are talking about. What the quality of this God? When Muhammad he went to his own son wife, and then Zainab, because she is a pervert too, and she is already already sleeping with Muhammad, she claimed that the miracle happened, brother. What is the miracle? that each time Zaid, he tried to F her. Zaid is the husband. Zaid is the husband, and he is the son of Muhammad by adoption. Each time Zaid, he tried to F her, Allah, he make his penis swell. So look at this religion. We have a God. He knew that Muhammad liked to F this woman, and already he preserved that vagina. That's it, this vagina is from Muhammad. This is the book of Al Qurtubi. And if you are a man, have a long beard, and you dare to call me and to tell me I'm a liar, call me right now. Otherwise, you are a coward. Some report says that Zainab, sorry, Zaid, the husband, his penis is swell when he wanted to F his wife. Here it says that when the prophet, he came to visit his own son, he saw 
her wearing see-through clothing. So he flirted with her and he said, Subhana mu'allif al-qulub. Read with me carefully. And then he came, the man Muhammad, to Zayd one day, seeking him. So he saw Zainab standing. She was white. Big and beautiful. From the most beautiful women of Quraysh. Fahawiha. Can you believe it? He fell in love with her. Actually, Hawa is not love. Hawa is lost. So he became in lust with her. And he said, Subhanallah, muqallib al -qulub. Praise be to Allah, the one who made hearts flip. Zainab, she heard the flirt of the Prophet. She told Zayd, Zaid, he got it. It says, Fafatina. I mean, look how the language of the Muslims, they are even, you know, exposing how faith is risen. Fafatina Zaid. So Zaid, he got it. Oh boy, this, this, my father, he's effing the wife. So he went to his father. He says, please give me permission to divorce her. And here you ask yourself, why the guy is asking Muhammad for permission to divorce her? Aren't you the husband? Aren't you the man? Why a man he needed permission from Muhammad? Because Muhammad is full control of this house. And obviously Muhammad, he loved this marriage for he can go to this house anytime and nobody will know that he is effing the wife because he is the father. Nobody will suspect. Let us translate to English. This is, this is what? This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This is Tafsir al Qurtubi. This is page number 423, starting there, 423. And this is the story as I just said to you. Let me post the link for you so you can check it out yourself. When Zaid he went to his bed that night to F his wife, Zainab she said, Zaid was not able to F her. And nothing made him refrain from F in her except Allah. He prevented him from me. How Allah he prevented Zayd from effing his wife? He made his penis swell. This is a religion of God. And in some narration that Zayd penis, you see the translation is not coming accurate, went swelling when he wanted to approach her, to F her. And they say this is a close to that, which means in the previous story that Allah, he forbid Zayd from effing her. And here you need to ask yourself, what kind of God? He stopped a husband from having sex from his wife because a pervert who is breaking the command of God not to go and flirt or spy or wish or desire a married woman. How God, he prevent the husband by making the husband penis swell. And you know, you Muslims, you Christian, you say that uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad don't have miracles. You liars. Don't you see the prophet, he have a miracle? Here we go. Allah, he made the husband penis swell. 
Can your God make the husband penis as well? Wouldn't you like a woman she is married? Can he? Huh. Good luck with that. I mean, can you believe how stupid, how filthy this cult is? And the funny is that those stories are written by Muslims, printed by Muslims, published by Muslims, and taught in every Islamic university by Muslims. But Muslims don't go outraged with this. What kind of a prophet we have? Because Muslims, they knew that their prophet is a pervert. And the one who follow a pervert, he must be a pervert too. Do we agree? Now, any one of you here, Muslims, he have a suspicion that what I just gave you is false. Hmm? Any one of you Muslims had or have any suspicion that Christian Prince is lying. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. You can check it yourself. This is the book of Al Qurtubi. This is the page number. And you know, Al Qurtubi there is for a reason. I mean, they will not publish in that website what Uthman he said, Sheikh Uthman, because he is just a potato, he's nobody. But Al Qurtubi is a big, big scholar. And when Al Qurtubi here write, this is what happened between Muhammad and the wife of Zaid. And then all the Muslims, and by the way, not only this book, I can show you tons of books. And all the Muslims, they praise and appraise such a pervert prophet and nobody complain. That is telling you what we are talking about. This is a religion of a pervert. The God who prevented the husband from effing his wife because the prophet, he liked her vagina. If you do not know how to translate the page I'm posting for you in Arabic, simply just click at the page, at the, at the side of the page, not in the middle. In the, in the white space and then click translate to English or your language I don't know what your language you speak so if somebody really he is interested in Islam there's one of two things he do not know what we are talking about he never heard this before he's an idiot he's a donkey and people they can direct the donkey any direction they want just hold him from the leash. Isn't the prophet impotence? Well, impotence doesn't mean he don't cannot have sex. You know, usually this word is used for someone who cannot have kids, but doesn't mean he cannot have sex. And maybe he wants to play with her. You know, there's many men, maybe they cannot have sex, but they don't mind kissing and touching and playing. Any Muslim have the courage and the knowledge to call us? Somebody calling himself Hindu Mindu? And why I would take a call from a Hindu? We want a Muslim. I don't want Hindu Mindu. Any Muslim? So I'm very really, I'm very glad for the thumbnails Sheikh Uthman he make because he summarize the purpose, the desire, and the reason for anyone to be interested in Islam. You know, if I make this thumbnail, uh, well, he, Christian Prince, he is just trying to explore, like to, like to ex expose Islam. But this is made by him. This guy, he is, he love Islam, brother. What he want? 
Fakira. Well, text me in Skype. I don't care. Fakira, I don't care. I don't care. Just text me in Skype. If you are a Muslim, I will call you. You are a Muslim and your name is Hindu? Why you are a Muslim and your name is Hindu? Somebody text me in Skype. His name is Hindu Mindu. And he claimed that he is a Muslim. Do we have any brave Muslim? He believed that Muhammad deserved to be defended, so you can call and defend. Somebody says that Muhammad, according to Muslims, Muhammad has no kids because he is the last prophet. What does this have to do with having kids? Well, okay, if based on this, if Jesus, according to Muslim, he is a prophet, that means Jesus have no kids because he is the last prophet. That means Muhammad is a fraud. I'm just using their logic. You see, the Muslims, I cannot really find any Muslim, he have a, a, like an intelligence of reasoning. I believe that the devil made, made fun of them. This is why they don't dare to call me. They don't dare to, because I, I get them busted in two seconds. So if this is the reason that Muhammad is having no kids because he is the last prophet, well, Jesus has no kids. And Muslim, they say that Jesus was a prophet. So Muhammad, he cannot be the last prophet because there is someone before him have no kids. I mean, I was stupid, this logic. They don't dare to call me because they knew they are out of reasoning. They are not smart and their prophet is so stupid. So how they can defend? I am not a Hindu. You are a Muslim. Okay, Fakira, as long as I will take you for that. Let me call you then. You are a Muslim and your name Hindu Mindu? Okay, I will call you. Well, you are not answering, I don't know. It's not you are not connecting to you. Maybe you need you need to add me to your uh, Skype in order to be able to call you. You see, I'm trying. It says Hindu is not online. Hindu, Mr. Hindu, Mindu is not online. You see it? Yeah. So come online so I can call you. Hindu, Mindu, Mr. Muslim, Fakira. Are you back online? Let me know when you are back online. Don't call me, just add me, add me to your, you know, so I can call you. See, so still I'm calling. It's not connecting. You know, something wrong with your network, I don't know. Okay, you're just wasting my time. Do we have any brave Muslim? Hey Muslims, Christian Prince is interested. He want to have 72 women. 70 of them, they have desirable front boobs and vagina. I want just to prove that Allah will give me those women. Do you have any catalog? catalog? Should we ask this guy who converted to Islam, he was a pimp? Do you think that Allah will use his skills to design a website for his pimp heaven? If there is any proof that we are going to get 
penis will never go limp as Muhammad he said and why Muhammad cannot make your penis don't go limp now why in heaven is he short of Botox you know it's very easy to promise people everything in the heaven uh, we will meet in heaven brother okay I, I own you money oh sure I will pay you in heaven but Muhammad he could not do anything in his lifetime and he himself he used to have a problem with his penis actually even his wife she said that the Prophet you know look at this idiot he blamed the Jews for why his penis is not working Al-Bukhari, the Prophet continued for such and such a time, imagining that he had boom boom with his wives, but in fact he did not. So Aisha, she come to him, says, Hey, Habibi Muhammad, isn't it time? Oh, you know, what are you talking about? Yesterday we spent the night doing boom boom. What the heck? Zainab the whore, she come to Muhammad. Hey, Muhammad, baby, don't you want to do boom, boom? Look, I took a shower. This is my annual shower. I'm ready. I have only a few fleas today. Oh, what are you talking about? Yesterday, I did boom, boom to you all day. What are you talking about? You never touched me, man. So the prophet, he claimed that the Jews, they took some hair from his anus and they controlled his penis. So now he imagined himself having sex with his wife, but in fact, he never did. Hey, Muslims, when the prophet was imagining, can you imagine and tell me what was going on? What Muhammad was doing at that moment, he's imagining, but there's no women there. And what is the guarantee that Muhammad was imagining himself having sex with his wives? How do you know? Maybe with something else. And the funny is, this is written by the Muslims, translated by Muslims, published by Muslims, and the one who was reading it is a Christian prince. Erdogan, he decided to run a project. What is the project? We need to filter the books of Hadith. So Erdogan, he brought the scholars from around the world. We need to clean this garbage. What the heck is this, man? How we can make Muhammad look better? After meeting, the scholars agree about not to agree about what we can do. And what is the reason? Well, if you clean it here, it's all over the internet. It's too late. You see, Uthman, Uthman ibn Affan, he is a, is, he is a professional whore. We should maybe talk about him, you know, in different video, make just a video about him. Uthman ibn Affan, he burned all the Quran. But did you ask yourself why he burned the Quran? I mean, why in the world somebody, in the beginning of his religion, they are burning their books, and those books written by them, by the companion, not by the strangers, not by the enemies, not by the Christians. Why we will burn the Quran? Because there's tons of garbage. So they have to filter the garbage. And then he accepted only one version to be the version. But this version is not version. She lost her virginity a long time ago. So he burned all the Quran. However, the Hadith start to be collected long after. And nobody stop and decide to fight it. Actually, even Ibn Ishaq, he said in his book, uh, as I remember, I did read long time ago, that anything is not suitable for the Prophet, we took it down. We, we did not put it here. It's not suitable. So he decided what Hadith can be said and what is the one we should not mention it. Not suitable. So, what you see in front of you, this is after the filtration of filtration of filtration through centuries. 
After filtration, the prophet, he effed his own son wife. After filtration, the prophet, he went to his own son wife and he flirted with her. After filtration, Allah, he made the penis of the husband Zayd swell when he decided to eff his wife Zainab. This is after the filtration. So what Islam was before the filtration? Do we have any Muslim from the filtering company? All right. <clears throat> we are calling Fakira. Let us see if Fakira will answer. Answer, Fakira, answer. If you are a Muslim, text me in Skype and I will call you immediately, especially if you are a sheikh. Hello? Hello? It must be ultimate fault. It's ultimate fault. It's son of Muta. The guy who called his prophet the MF word. He F his prophet yesterday. And he lied. He claimed his name is Fakira. We, you know Fakira is the name of a girl. Ultimate fault is a girl today. And he is looking for a boyfriend. You filthy tongue, son of Muta. Do we have any brave Muslim? He have the courage and he believe in his religion. He can call us. Anyone? Yesterday he wanted to give me example of how his prophet was disobeying Allah. So he described his prophet as a small brother. Who his bigger brother, he said to him, you son of M MF, the mother F. You know what I'm talking about. Can you believe it? It's recorded yesterday. Just go and download the video. And this is how, how he explained to me how his filthy pervert prophet disobey Allah. This is to explain to me what's going on. <laughs> and then today, he decided to come with the name Fakira, which is everyone knows it's a name of a female. So today he's a female. And yesterday he was a female. Do we have any Muhammadan? Yeah, and the name Fakira is coming from the what the word, the dirty word he said to us yesterday. So from now on, we called him Ultimate Fakira. <laughs> Do we have any brave Muslim? Where is your sheikh? Where is those, you know, Muslim, they make interview and you have a channels and you want to debate the Christians. Okay, let, let us do this. You can go if you have like a big channel. Let us say you are a Muslim who have a famous channel. You do not need to come to my channel. Go live. Give me your Skype. I will call you. This way I will be in your channel. Kabich. And then you can download the video, brother, and for sure it's your channel, and you can share it with Muslims around the world, and you will see what happened. Yeah, well, tell tell Christian not to allow such a person to speak. He is very filthy. He's very he's very low. You know, you, when you speak to a person like this, you always find yourself low on yourself. Do we have any brave Muslim there to join us? Now, this is ultimate part again. This is ultimate part again. It's like a bug, you know, the bug. Bug. And you know, uh, uh, always I find it really funny that there is certain kind of Muslims who don't want to listen to Allah but they want to listen to Christian prince. 
I find it very funny that Muslim women, they send me emails saying to me, Christian Prince, so what if your voice is so sexy? I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. That is a lot of hatred. Sound like we are going to bed next. And the sheikhs, they never call. Only those who hate me, they come here to talk to me. Hello? Hello? Ultimate four. Ultimate four again. Say a son of Muta. I will like it. Ultimate four. I told you I will never let you speak here because you are filthy trashy. This guy, even he has accepted that the Quran is corrupted and he follow the guy he was killed in Arizona for taking verses from the Quran. And the funny he said to me, this guy, he never take any verses out except the one is not there. Athonal, <laughs> uh, Kath, are you a Muslim, my friend? We take only calls from Muslims because we want to show people the other side of Muslims believe. And the only one is calling us is somebody, you know, he's out of his mind. He don't want to accept anything except only his statement. No tafsir, no hadith. He don't care what his prophet says. And even he called his prophet the effort. I know we have enough with this guy. Very long. Do we have any decent Muslim if that is possible? If I'm not asking for the impossible? Can we find a decent Muslim who can speak decency about indecency about his religion? Anyone? Okay, listen, Muslims. If you call me, if you call me, you do not know how much Allah will reward you. Just me, let me remind you. If you are a person who you imagine himself having sex with his wife, but yet you never did so, and you have 10 kids already from your wife, and now you are wondering who the one was if in your wife, because you never did so, don't worry. Be happy. Allah will reward you. You see here, I ask myself, uh, uh, once a Muslim, he called me, he says, the prophet was under the influence of a black magic for 12 months. So the prophet, he was imagining himself if in his wives for 12 months. And Allah did not do anything about it. And then as usual, we blame who? We blame the Jews. If you read the rest of the story, you will see that this is a person. He is a Jew and he, you know, he plays a spell on Muhammad. Hey Muslims, as long as this spell work, I mean, come on, can you contact some Jews to control the president of China? Pay him, you know, they, they would take payment. Or, you know, make a spell on me. It don't, but j just leave that, that, that part there uh, alone, okay? Spell on me, not in my... <clears throat> Please. Hey Muslim, don't do that. I mean, come on. I don't even have insurance on it. A spell on the Prophet and that caused him not to be able to have sex with his wives? Okay, listen. What about the wife Aisha? She sat in his lap. Does it work? No. Even the Quran says that Muhammad, he have no standing up penis even for the anthem. Look what the Quran says. Do we have any Muslim? Chapter 13, verse number 3. If you ask any Muslim what, what this verse is about, they say to you, the evil of darkness when it's intense, intense, the evil of darkness intense, what is that? That's deep. 
if we go and search and do a little study, we will find that Muslim scholar, they say, this is about when the penis stand up. Can you believe it? It doesn't say that, CP. What the heck? It doesn't? Are you sure? This is Tafsir al-Qurtubi. Sorry, al-Tabari. Tafsir, Surah Al-Falaq, chapter 113, verse number 13. The book volume is 24. The page is 696. And the pages we see in the front of us are pages 696, 697, 698, 699. And this is the tafsir for the verse. What the tafsir say? Oh boy. Muslims, are you ready? Are you ready? Who is ready? Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim is willing to call me? Anyone? I have the page ready for you. Oh, what we need to do? You call me worried. Hmm? Anyone? All of this, by the way, we are just scrolling down. It's just about explaining what it's meant. And everyone here is giving you a different meaning. Look at this. Any Muslim? Any Abdul? All of this to explain a sentence? Which means the Muslim cannot agree even about simple sentence in the Quran? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Any Abdul? Any half Abdul? We take two Abdul at the time. Who is a Muslim he would like to call us? Nobody? No? Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody. Mm. <clears throat> My voice is tired since yesterday we spoke for many hours, but it was fun. This is a very, very sexual religion. Very sexual religion.
Ibn Abbas is the cousin of Muhammad. Is the cousin of Muhammad. And for sure he speak Arabic very well. And even Muhammad, he is the one who named him to be the only scholar of Islam in his time. He prayed to Allah to make him the scholars of the nation. This is a book called Takhrij al Ahadith Ihya al Ulum Alum al Din. Volume number four, page number, I think five or five, something like that. I'm not sure here. It's not, it doesn't show in the page. Like it's covered by the arrow. But hadith number 2517. 2517. We read, and you will see Ibn Abbas is describing what this verse is about. Ibn Abbas, he said, huwa qiyamu dhakar. كأنه تفسير للوقوب والغاسق هو الذكر. It is the stand up of the penis getting hard. So the wives of Muhammad they come to him. Muhammad he claimed that the penis is not working. And the reason for that because somebody blow in the knot, the translation here is, is false, and he controlled his sexual life and his brain. You see how the Muslim, they change the translation, they add words, they take words from the Quran because they have no decency when they translate their Quran. Here suddenly we see, and from the evil of the witchcraft, when they blow in the knot. So Ibn Abbas, he says, it is the penis standing up. The Quran is speaking about witchcraft and blowing in the knot. And Muhammad, he seek the protection of Allah from the witchcraft which is placed on him, which is causing him not to be able to have sex with his wives, as we saw in the Hadith. So if we connect all the dots together, we will come to one conclusion. Muhammad is a madman. Uh, you want link for which one? The one about uh, uh, the penis stand up? All right, no problem. Here we go. Just use Google Translation. We can use Google Translation here, let's see. Yeah, but the translation is not really coming good. Um. Ibn Abbas interpretation said night when it comes, thus Ibn Jarir. Uh, yeah, I see it's not, I don't see the word penis here. So the word dhakar is not translated properly. You see, uh, yeah, I don't see the translation coming with the word penis. Because in Arabic it said dhakar, and dhakar can be Dakar can be uh, like because you know in Arabic we have something called tashkil. So dakar can be read uh, dhikr. Dhikr is a book or mentioning something, remembering something. The same word exactly, but different pronunciation. Uh, but in Arabic it's so clear. It says when the dakar stand up. So in the translation in English it should be this part here. In the top, if you go, you read 257, 2517, and then you go down here. Before you read the green part, it should be the line before it. So let's do again. Try again. Translate to English. All right, let's see here. 
Now you see. Mm, I don't see anywhere it says that here. This is the second green line and the translation is messed up. But we can try a different translation. Let us do this. We can see if we take a part. This is Al Maktaba website. If we take a part and copy and paste as it is, just the sentence, that sentence alone, because sometimes Google do better if you copy just short sentence. So let us say go, we go to Google Translation in the page. Google Translate. And then we will copy this part here. Copy. And then we go to Google Translation page. And we paste. In the authority of Abbas saying, see the word penis coming as remembrance. This is the problem. So you to sorry, Google is taking the word dhakar as the word dhikr. Dhakar and dhikr are two different words. Dhakar is a penis, or even you can use it for a male man. But here it says qiyam with dhakar, which means standing of the penis. So the stand the standing of the penis, and repeated this that again, wrong translation. And this was the interpretation. As you see here, look, the standing, standing. Do you think remembrance will be stand? No. So standing. So when the night comes, the penis is stand. And in a way, you know, anyone who speak Arabic, he can call me right now from the Muslims and he can get me busted. It doesn't say that, CP. It would take you two seconds. Oh, we can show the same thing in many, many, many reference, not only here. Do we have any Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge. Yandex translation. Actually, you can fix it if you add Tashkir, but I don't have Tashkir in my in my keyboard. You know, in my keyboard, I don't even have Arabic. I use, uh, you know, those stickers. You put them in the top, and they don't have any, like, dictation for Tashkir. Tashkir is th things you add in the top of the letter will change totally the way you pronounce it. And remember, the Quran used to have zero of this. There's no dots. There's no Tashkir. There's no valves, there's no sound changing, and that make it very, very confusing. Then a person who is not even an Arab, he add those things to the Quran. I am a Christian, I would like to call. No, Alfred, if you have a question, you can ask it here. We want only Muslim to call. <clears throat> any Muslim and you know did you ask yourself why the why the Muslims did not find this strange in their books a prophet he promised me women they are imported from hell and what is the qualification of those women they have desirable front passages look you will go out of hell if you are a woman with big boobs and nice vagina. That means all the hookers in the world, they will be in the heaven of Allah. So why they will worry about anything? 99% maybe of a prostitute, they are so good looking. That's why they are in the business. So based on Muhammad, women who they are hookers, 
they will live in heaven and not only that they will fulfill their vagina desire nothing changed you were a hooker in the earth you are a hooker in heaven who goes to the heaven of Allah Who? Any Muslim can tell us? Why Allah will import those women? You see, He don't say women who repent. He didn't say women who feel sorry, regret their sin. He is importing certain kind of women for very very clear reason or penis business what kind of followers they were standing in front of Muhammad and they accepted such a statement any Muslim can tell me if I am standing now in the street and there is a guy he says to me if you accept me as a prophet Allah, I swear by Allah, he will give you 72 wives. Two of them, they are whores, and whores are made specifically for boom, boom, but in a special way. Allah, he spent 1,000 years to soften their skin. Can you provide me a... A reference of Muhammad is storing stay in underwear. I cannot provide you any reference about that, but Allah He can. Allah He decided to prove that Muhammad did not steal the underwear. So Allah, Aka Muhammad, He made a verse says, ah, he's not, He did not steal the underwear. <laughs> I mean, ha have you ever heard of uh, Sherlock Holmes like this? The prophet in chapter 3, verse 161, was accused of stealing a panty. And who is the one who accused him? His companions. And now we understand what kind of companion he had. Those are gang. And imagine, imagine, God forbid me for saying, for, you know, forgive me for saying that. Imagine Peter, you know, accusing Jesus that he stole a piece of clothing. Imagine that John says, hey, Jesus, you took the, the, my, my, my uh, clothes? So the Muslims, the companions, they accused their prophet of a stain and underwear, a red velvet, as the Muslim they claim. And then Allah decided to defend the prophet. So what Allah he says, it's not Muhammad who took it. So Allah who took it? Have you ever heard of such a detective like Allah? Call Detective Columbus. He will say to them one more question, one more thing, when he's leaving in the door, and he will get them busted. So this God, he sent the verse saying, it's not Muhammad who stole the underwear. Shouldn't you say to us, who is the one who took it, where he hide it? Remember, we are talking about God. Do... Allah knew who took the underwear. If you go to chapter 3, verse 161, interpretation, let us go there. And imagine this is the Muslim's interpretation, not mine. Not mine. Ibn Abbas, who he said, when some red velvet acquired as booty from the idolaters, so the Muslims now they are fighting about their theft, in the ball of Badr, was encountered, 
And some people say it's maybe the prophet who took it. He took it what? He stated it. Stated it. Yagul is to steal. So Allah, he said in the verse, says, it's not for a prophet to embezzle. Embezzle. Do you see it? Let me zoom in. So what is the accusation is? The prophet doing embezzling. And what the answer is? Allah, he said, it's not for a prophet to do something like this. And until now, the red velvet panty is missing. Think about it. If Allah is a true God, Muhammad is a true prophet, Allah, he got the opportunity now to say, go to this house of this guy, open the drawer or move the, under the pillow or under the bed, you will find the missing panty. Or maybe he's wearing it now. Take off his... He will tell his prophet, hey, Muhammad, go and tell them where to find the panty. Or what Allah he did, he says, it's not Muhammad he did it. And obviously, it is Muhammad who did it. Because if it is someone else, Allah will say who? I mean, can you name one thing about Muhammad? Is not awkward and stupid and dummy and filthy and low? Accused to be a thief by his followers. His neighbor put spill over his penis. The prophet, he imagined himself having sex, but he's not. The prophet, he receives satanic verses. The prophet, he go to his own son, wife, he flirt with her. The prophet, he received verses from Allah saying, if her. The husband, he go to the prophet who is his father. He says, please, can you please let me divorce her? The prophet acting hypocrite says, what, what are you talking about, man? You should not divorce your wife. Look at this idiot. A minute ago, he was in the house of this man flirting with the wife. A minute after, he's saying to him, keep her, man, keep her. What are you talking about? And here we go, actually. Here we have a problem, by the way. You see, I want people to learn how to connect the dots. You have, you have to learn how to connect the dots. When the story of Zaid and Zainab mentioned that according to Al-Qurtubi, Zaid, he went to his prophet and he told him, well, you know, she is hurting me with her mouth. She is have a filthy mouth. She have a filthy mouth. Okay. Please give me permission to divorce her. Anyone can help me what chapter in the Quran we can connect this together? Let us see who of you is really sharp. The relation between Zaid and Zainab now is hitting into divorce. Why? Because the Prophet, he flirted with her. Yet, according to Zaid, his wife, she have a filthy mouth and she is hurting him. Anyone knows what we can connect with this? Do you remember the verse in the Quran where it speak that Allah, he sent two angels, one his name is Harut and the other one his name is Marut? Do you remember? What Harut and Marut they do? Who remember? Chapter 2, verse 102. Harut and Marut, they open a Harry Potter school to teach magic, which is going to cause divorce. Correct? Now, Zaid, he went to his father, Muhammad, the one who want to F his wife, and already, obviously, he's Fing his wife. He told him, my wife, she is hurting me. She is a bad mouth woman. We are fighting. We are unhappy. Who is the one who made the husband and the wife fight? Harut and Marut.
what Harut and Marut they do. This is the Muslim translation. And those and from those angels, people learn that by which they cause separation between man and his wife. And now we understand finally why Harut and Marut are sent down to earth. So divorce lawyer would do good. If I am a divorce lawyer, I will make a statues for the two angels of Allah, Harut and Marut, because all my income is coming from Harut and Marut. Even divorce between wife and husband, it was Harry Potter story. Two angels, they landed in the Babylon Tower. Hey, angel, where are you going? Oh, we are going to Iraq. Why Iraq? Because there is a tower there. It's very high. What the heck? They went to the Babylon Tower. And the two angels, Harut and Marut, they landed there. And they opened a school to teach magic. Magic. And look at the Muslim translation trying to fix it, trying to duct tape, duct, duct tape cult, duct tape everything, duct tape the ass of Muhammad, duct tape the ass of Allah, duct tape the Quran, duct tape the Hadith. It doesn't say that, CP. Uh, all right, maybe we have a Muslim. If not, if he is ultimate fart, you know what we can do, we will block him. But, you know, this is why, you know, we, we always try to keep dirty mouth people from our podcast. Uh, so we don't allow them to go live on air until we are sure they are serious people and people who can be clean. We don't want trash. Let us see this person. <clears throat> Hello? Here we go. He, he used the MF word. Can you believe it? How filthy? Here we go. Nobody heard you. Just to let you know. Nobody heard you. Faith is come back like your prophet. Next. Uh, I was wondering to fill time. Meantime, I would ask you about best Arabic learning source. Go to my channel, uh, Arab for Christ. You can learn Arabic for free. I have tons of videos teach you Arabic. And it's for free. You do not need a school. Just watch it. Word mad. I think this is the same ultimate part too. This guy is, is mad, really. I mean, this guy is winter, yeah. But anyway, we are laughing. Do we have any brave Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Who is a Muslim? If I can use the word decent, I for, forgive me if I insulted you by calling you decent Muslim. And may the Lord forgive me for saying that, because this is a lie. If you are a decent Muslim, please feel free to call me. And the reason I say, there's no way there's somebody, he's a Muslim, he's decent, because how you follow such a satanic cult and you are decent, where is your decency? Where is your decency? If I ask right now, if there is any decency in this so-called Islam, a prophet, he go to his wife, he flirt with his own, the son of, the wife of his son, and he flirt with the wife of his son, and then the Muslim, they are so proud that Allah, he made the penis of the husband swell. 
Ling Xing, why you wanna call me? What is the reason you wanna call me? People here, we are trying to get you some Muslim to show you samples of the product of Islam. Are you getting the point? Someone in Skype saying to me, a man he walked into me and he said to me, Assalamu alaikum, and he was playing your YouTube music. I think it's you. No, what I can say. Okay, it's me then. Must be me. Anyone he play my YouTube music must be me. Just don't work in the police department. Criminals will never be caught. Do we have any brave Muslim? You know, once actually I was in the airport and there was two guys watching my video. I was just sitting next to them, just just next to them, you know. It was funny. You should see their faces. I said they were there before me. I said, and then I start, and I heard. This is sound like me. They are a little bit far. They are not really too much close. Uh, it sounds like me. So I, you know, it's too much noise in the in the airport. Too much noise. So, uh, but then I decide to go and walk like by to see really is it they are watching my videos, and yeah, they were watching my video, and then I came back, you know, to my table. No, no, they were not Muslims, obviously. They were enjoying watching the video, laughing. Yeah. Do we have any Mohammedan? Can you read for us a chapter 35, verse number 25 in Arabic? Does it say that Allah says him and Mo are sinners? Uh, but are you going to ask me to read every verse later? Are, are you going to stop there or you will start asking me read this verse for me and that verse for me? <laughs> and that verse for me? Uh, yeah, you see, uh, uh, the verse here actually is saying very stupid thing, very weird. Uh, that Allah and Muhammad, they are not sinners. They are criminals. But for sure, the Muslim, they will give you a different way of different, uh, 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 let us say, exit in the highway for it. Here it says, our misdeed. But in Arabic, it says, ajramna. Amma. Ajramna. And here the Muslim they will say to you here in the verse it says, uh, "Oh no, he is saying they are the one who commit the crime." But in Arabic it says, "From what we did as a crime." Very very bad language, but for sure the Muslim they will find a solution for it. And you know for me. I prefer to go by the Muslim interpretation for the verse, so I will not waste my time. Like when I showed you now that the verse is speaking about the penis, if not the Muslim saying that, I prefer not to use my own interpretation because I cannot prove it. You know what I mean? It will be a sound like, okay, you are making things up. Or who is going to believe you? Maybe only those who trust what I say. So, if you want to convince Muslim of something, try to focus on something more important. Uh, do we have any Mohammedan would like to join us? Anyone? Who is a Mohammedan would like to join us? And tell us if you know if you want we can change the topic Muslims if you don't like to talk about what we mentioned because it's very very harm harming 
for Muhammad reputation. We can ask you to fix it. Call us and tell us something will fix Muhammad reputation. What do you think, guys? Is it a good challenge? Is it possible that Muslim they can find something good about Muhammad? If there is any, anything good about him? If there is anything is good about Muhammad? Hmm? This guy here is saying, following cult, okay, you ask Muslims uh, to call, but you don't take my Skype call, coward. What is your Skype call? There's only one person, we hang up on him because he keeps saying the F4 to Muhammad. And we don't want uh, our channel to be shut down. It's very filthy. What is your sky? Post it for me in the screen and I will call you. Post your Skype in the screen and I will call you. You never call me. Is your name Hassan? Is your name Hassan? I'm calling every single person who texts me. You already Skype me? What is your name in Skype? Maybe you are texting wrong person. Give me your Skype, I will call you. Why you want to make a drama? Give me your Skype. Stop making drama. Hello? The only one is calling is Ultimate Fort. Ultimate part, see? He keeps changing his name once he's a female, once he's a transgender, and once he's a male. Who is a Muslim here have the courage to call me? Anyone? No problem, you know, ultimate fault. I mean, we can, you know, we, we are just having fun. Uh, but if there is any sincere uh, Muslim, this guy is like a bug, you know. I already posted the link. What link? He posted a link. Do you see where it says my Skype there? The admin is posting it. Just copy it, search it in your, I didn't see your link. And if you post it, post it again, so I can see it now. Any Mohammedan, he have the courage and the knowledge. May they, may they, may they. It's very sad that from all the Muslim words, there's only one person he claimed to be Muslim who keeps saying the F4 to his prophet. He want to talk to me. Very filthy mouth. He don't accept Muhammad's statement. He don't accept the interpretation. He don't speak Arabic. He have a very filthy tongue. And he claimed that he is the one who can answer us. And we have it have him recorded many times, and the videos are hilarious. Go watch them and die laughing. But we will not allow him because each time he calls, he speaks very filthy language. Any Muhammadan he dare to call us. Who is a Muhammadan? He dare to call us. <clears throat> Anyone? Especially if you are a sheikh, a person of beard, we would like really to have you with us. And we will speak to you nicely.
There's a guy, he called himself Yamamaku Kaku. If you don't answer this time, I'm going to block you. Hello? It must... It my ultimate fault. See, son of Muta, you know, this guy is a bug. You don't have respect to yourself. Are you going to keep calling me, you coward? Everybody heard you a hundred of times. You call me and you fail, and we die laughing at you. And you never, each time we asked you, do you promise not to use filthy language? You will never keep your promise even for two minutes. Coward. All of you go and download the video yesterday. This is why he's so angry. He called his prophet the MF word. The video is there. Yesterday video. You can go to Patreon, click at the link there, and you can download this part and post it in YouTube. Ultimate fault, he is giving a Christian prince example how and why Allah Prophet breaking the command of Allah. So Allah Prophet was a younger brother. And there's a big brother. The big brother, he says to the younger brother, and the big brother is Allah. And the younger brother is Muhammad. So the big brother, he said to Muhammad, which is the younger brother, Oh, MF, Mother F. The video is there. You know, people like this is the same as a rag or period in the old days. We use you once in the new days, not twice. We are not willing to wash you. You have no value. Do we have any Muslim? You already Skyped me, you coward? Okay, what is the name of your Skype, you coward? Let me block you, you coward. Because everybody knows I'm taking calls from everybody. So who are you? Why I will not take your call? You coward. Obviously, you are playing games. Do we have any brave Muhammadan he would like to call us? Uh, this is your Skype. Life e David. All right, let me search you. Go, hold on. Well, I could not find such a name. You are stupid. You do not even know how to copy a name. Here we go. I just copy. The name and I post it in search. There's no name come. You are an idiot. You see, no name came and there's such an address. What an idiot. You don't know even how to copy your link. Click at your name. Click at your profile, and then in the profile, it says Skype name. Skype name. This is what you will see. There's no way it's going to be so short like that, as you gave me. Then you can click on it, and right away it says copy. You do not need even to highlight. And then you copy it. Very easy. Do we have any brave Muslim? I hope I'm not insulting by saying brave Muslim because Muslims get offended immediately. When you say decent Muslim, brave Muslim, they are brave if you are alone and they are 10, they will attack you. They are brave when they say Hatun, she is four foot tall women, they attack her. An armed female. They are very brave. Do we have any brave Muslim? Anyone? You see, I want to convert to Islam, but this phrase here is worrying me. Imagine you enter heaven 
and then you have a penis will never go limp. How you can sleep? Not to forget to mention that Muhammad, he promised that the penis will be endless. So now you have a penis will never go limp. It's, excuse my language, it's very tough all the time. It's endless. How you can live with it? How you can walk around with it? Endless penis. And this penis, like if it goes limp, maybe we can roll it. Maybe we can roll it and put it in a bag. Or maybe we can roll it in a, like in a truck. We'll walk with it. But the problem is this penis will never go flaccid or limp. And it's endless. So how we can live with it? Is that heaven or this is a penalty? It sounds like it, you know, somebody punishing somebody says, you know what? You love sex? Okay, I will make your penis endless. So your wife is next to you and your penis is in the seven galaxy. By the way, can NASA use your penis as telescope? Or maybe oil pipe? Because the Russian oil pipe is exploded. Maybe we just connect your penis between Putin, Kadarov, the chicken land, Tishenia, all the way to Germany. And the German, they will find a use of you, don't worry. Maybe they can even import beer using your penis. I mean, isn't it obvious this man is a pervert, is a stupid, is a crazy? What kind of a promise this promise is? Truth Finder UK Life. Uh, Phil, why you are posting this link? What what this is guy for? Phil, why you are posting this is Skype? People, admins, don't post any Skype except my Skype. Oh, this is my Skype. Okay, sorry, I got you wrong. I thought you were posting somebody. It says the truth. But now I see the address is mine. I apologize. Why do you bubble too much? Because I am Harut, who came in the Bible Lone Tower. So I bubble. What's your problem? Why you don't call me and tell me how Allah has sent two angels? One of them is Harut and the other one is Marut in the Babylon Tower and they are bubbling. And how they bubble? They open a bubble school to teach magic so a wife and husband, they will fight each other. You see, Allah, he have a charity organization now. Open where? In the Babylon Tower. What they are doing? They are bubbling. And what is the mission of the school of Allah, which opened by the principal, Mr. Harut, and his assistant, Mr. Marut, is to teach people black magic so the wife and the husband they can fight did you find how to copy your link for your skype or not yet while well, you are bubbling by the river of babylon where we sit down. Hey, 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 hey. I mean, even, even the Babylon Tower, Muhammad did not leave it alone. Anything is famous, he have to add it in his book. And I wish he added for good reason. Look, this God, he sent two angels to open a school so the wife and the husband, they will separate and get divorced. I mean, this is really a good ethical mission. And now I learned from Harut and Marut how to make a wife and husband divorce. Chaku kahu. May Allah make your penis barbecue. 
So now the wife, she go to the husband. Honey, do you want to go to bedroom? Oh, it's uh, hmm, uh, swelling. What the heck? What happened? Ask Allah. Allah knows best. Second day, the wife, she come to the husband. Hey, husband, what do you think today? Is it better? Oh, no. It's not working at all. Don't touch it. It hurt. This is what happened with Zaid. When he, Muhammad, he came to the house of Zaid and he flirted with the wife, according to Zainab, Allah, he made the penis of, the, of Zaid swell. Do you think the Allah, he used a black magic? And he made, how he made his penis of, of Zaid swell? I will give you options. Allah, he made Zaid dip his penis in hot sp spicy food. I don't want to imagine that actually. <laughs> I don't want to even think about it. <laughs> Allah, he hit the penis of Zaid by a hammer. Oh boy, that's not good. How Allah, he made the penis of Zaid as well. I mean, how he was able to accomplish this miracle. So while Jesus was making the blind man see, while he was making, resurrecting people from death, why, why, while he was uh, uh, like healing multitude, tens of thousands of people, Allah, he was doing miracle to the penis of Zaid. That's amazing. Zaid, can you, do you have a camera? Imagine guys, if we can have interview as we speak now with the son of Muhammad Zaid and his penis as well. And for sure, we will ask the women to close their eyes unless they are, <clears throat> you know, they would like to see. And by the way, that will make it even maybe nicer. I mean, the penis of Muhammad could not stand up. The penis of Zaid not only stand up, it's a swelling. Man, oh man. Extra size. Like when, when, Zaid, she, uh, when Zainab, she say his penis is swell, like what became like three foot taller? Wider? Aren't you ashamed, Muslims, of your books? What is the guy who says to me, he wanna call me? Huh. The only one is trying to call is uh, ultimate fakira. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Who is a brave Muslim he dare to call? Anyone? Anybody? Anyone there? Hmm? Are you there? Oh boy. Who is a brave Muslim? You know, sometimes you feel like you're a homeless begging for like a sandwich or something. <clears throat> Hello? Ultimate fault. It must be ultimate fault. Hello? Okay. Just shut up. Too late, too late. Not cursing. Guys, he said to me, I'm not cursing. So now he promised me he repent. He will not curse. <laughs> you cannot make the tail of a dog straight. You are a dog. You prove it always. I'm not cursing. Well, why you curse all the time then? All right. Hello? Hello? Ultimate. He's everywhere. You guys, uh, ultimate part, he said to me, I'm everywhere. He's like shit. <laughs> I am everywhere. <laughs> oh boy. Any, uh, nobody can hear you anyway, you idiot. 
He can call. I'm just hanging up on you. And you know, he he said that he will not he will not be cursing. Okay, so now I'm I'm not, I'm not the dog who curse usually, not anymore. Okay, I repent. And nobody can trust a faithy lawyer like you. You're very faithy. Very trashy. Actually, this guy once he called me and he his camera open. I could not believe how dirty the wall behind him was in his bedroom. And that remind me of how Muhammad he clean himself after sex or poo, poo Anyone remember how Muhammad he clean himself? After Muhammad he do have sex or poo, -poo he wash his hands supposedly and he dry his hands on the wall. Can you believe it? Let me see if I can find the hadith here in English. You can imagine how the wall of Muhammad looked like. Let us try something else. How the Prophet he clean himself after boom boom or poo poo. Let us see this hadith. Read it. And this is Sahih hadith. Imagine if you dry your hands on the wall of your room, what will happen? Try it. You see, even when you wash, even if you are like just washed, and you dry your hands on the towel, right? But isn't it true that the towel, after some time, the towel will be dirty, you need to wash it? Even though you are washing, right? And today we are like way, you know, things is way cleaner, easier to, like, you know, water is, is, is there, it's just in the faucet. You know, old days it's really hard to, to do this uh, thing it's not easy to bring water you know somebody spit water on your hands so you cannot have enough water they are living in the desert so muhammad each time he wash his private part what he do he dry his hands on the wall so if you enter the bedroom of muhammad you will find how artistic the wall behind him, like ultimate fault when he called me. Because so, super tuper, you know, art. Why in the world he is drying his hand in the wall? This guy is in his house. I mean, listen, if you are, let us say, uh, in the in the desert, and you dry your hand maybe with the rock, okay. If I am in the wood, oh, okay, my hand got dirt, I will dry my hand with the tree. But he is in his room. However, we have to take into consideration, if you remember, who remember the hadith we showed yesterday? That when the prophet he do poo, poo the ground open wide her mouth and eat and swallow. The feces of the prophet. Let me see if I can find something in English. If Muslims have articles about it.
I don't know how to type the word feces. How how you type the word feces? Feces. Okay. Uh, okay, I found it. I found it. You know, sometimes like you 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 have to make a, a grammar mistakes or spelling mistakes. All right, guys, look what I found. This is a Muslim article. This is a Muslim article. Just to be sure this is a Muslim article, give me a second. Yeah, well, this is not, uh, uh, this is not, uh, this is not written by Muslim, but maybe this is a guy who collected, uh, he collected some reference. You know what, let me post this website with you, because it looked like this guy, he collected good reference in English, so maybe you can save it in your own. I just searched for Muhammad Feces. Peace be upon him. And you will see there, speaking about how the earth has swallowed the feces of Prophet Muhammad. And by the way, this is a clear sign that you are a prophet. You know what I mean? Me, myself, look, I have another name or a channel. It's called Arabian Prophet. All of you, you know. Do you know why I get that name? I go to the bathroom in this country called America. And there's like a toilet like things white thing you sit on it and that thing in a miraculous way is to swallow your thesis so i said to myself i must be a prophet and not only that those american you know they have like some something you hang on the this uh, swallow machine thing and it makes it's, it's the, the bathroom smell so good so now I, I i have no proof that i'm a prophet but now after I heard that the Prophet of Allah, the ground was swallowing his feces, I think we are equal now. I think, you know, I have a lot of reasons to believe I must be an Arabian Muslim prophet because I have proof. I can make a video of it. I mean, don't force me, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm warning you. If you force me, I would do it. I know some of you are, you don't have a good faith. So this guy here in the website, he said, he's translating the reference for you, which is good, in case you like to copy it. Muhammad feces. Muhammad feces was not bad at smelling. Abu Bakr ibn Sadiq, etc., he said, in both statements assumed by people before, etc., the knowledge in the book of etc blah 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 okay it says in the book he is giving you the reference to in English which is good uh, Muhammad feces was automatically is swallowed by the earth and when Muhammad he do poo, poo that all his feces never have any unpleasant smell or maybe taste here it says, the Prophet of Allah, Asha, she said, after he relieved himself, Muhammad, he relieved himself, uh, Asha, she went inside the bathroom and she could not find anything because the earth swallowed it up. And the Prophet therein, no trace of that lift. So what the Prophet, when he do uh, uh, his feces, because it's a holy feast, as you know. And the earth is so thirsty. The earth is so in love. You see, nature love Muhammad. You see, the, 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 everybody says you have to go green, you have to go green, there's, there's like, especially those like liberals. The fact we should have go Muhammad feces, because the earth will be happy. We can fix the global warming, if it exists, and we can fix the ozone. All what we need is that just send some shit of Muhammad to the ozone and the ozone will be blocked because we'll keep swallowing, swallowing, swallowing. Muhammad feces, uh, deliberately cancelled by, concealed by the earth. 
more reference. You can read it. And actually, more more reference about Muhammad Spit, Muhammad Boogars, Muhammad. Uh, yeah, you know, you know. That's actually this is a good collection. Muhammad Sweat. That's a good collection. But for me, I prefer to have a to have them in Arabic. But for you, it's good website to have. Did you guys save the reference? Did you save the website? Muhammad feces, peace be upon his feces. You see, the Muslim they say that Muslim they don't worship Muhammad. But what we see, it cannot be anything but worshiping a man, fabricating lies. I mean, who in the world want to believe that Muhammad? Shit, excuse my language, smell like perfume. Huh? Who of you Muslim believe in that really? Any Muslim believe in that? Even the Muslim, by the way, they drunk the piss of the Prophet. Look, there is a question here in this website. Let me put it for you on the screen. A man is asking, I don't know if you can find the same question in English in the same website, because I think they have English version of every question. Al-Islam su'alun wa jawab. Islam question and answer. This is a, question, a website run by Muslim uh, and Qatar terrorist organization. Hal bawlun Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is holy? Is it true that even uh, some they drunk it or drank from it? And here the answer. This, let us use Google Translation. Translate to English. Is it true that the Prophet Peace be upon him, pure. The translation in the urine of the Prophet is pure. It's holy, actually. <laughs> I mean, look at the question, guys. A Muslim, he have an interest. He want to know, is it true that our Prophet Muhammad, his urine is holy? What is the answer? And the question is, is it true that some they drunk it? The answer, thanks to Allah. The drinking of a prophet urine, may Allah pray on him, was mentioned in two hadith, brother. We are talking about what? We are talking about drinking the urine of a man, his name is Muhammad. What the Muslim they do? Look, look. It doesn't say that, CP. You are lying, CP. Muslim don't drink the urine of a prophet of Allah, CP. So it's mentioned in two hadith, and this is the reference in the front of your eyes. And even Muhammad, he promised the women who drank his feces that hell will never touch her stomach. Let me give you the link. And maybe you can find an, an English version of it without translation of Google, because this website, as I know, they have like a English uh, version of everything. Let us shorten the link. You see the Christians, the Muslim, they accuse the Christians that they worship a man, right? This is what they say. Okay. But don't you see that really the one who worship a man is the Muslims? They worship even his urine? This is the Muslim website. I just gave you the link. You can use Google Translation and read all the references you want.
if I can sign a contract with the Prophet Muhammad, the most obvious false prophet pervert, that all his urine in his house will be given into me, can you imagine how much money I can make from those mad people? I will make auction for every like 10 millimeter of the piss of the profit. Auction. Who pay more? If I can get one gallon of his holy piss, Prophet Muhammad, I will get so rich. Let us face it. Let us face it. Because as you see, if you drink it, you will never go to hell. Never, never. Don't even try. What do you want more? Bullet proof, sorry, piss proof against hell. You drink the camel urine and then you will become ready and you are protected totally from anything to touch you coming from hell. Isn't it, this is beautiful? It is beautiful, right? Hmm. Any Muslim have a comment? No, I mean, think about it. It says, he said to the women that hellfire will never touch her belly. For what? For she drank his piss. So the piss of the prophet is a piss proof against hell. It's in front of you. You cannot deny that, can you? What do you think? Can you deny that? Are you with me? Hello? Are you there? He is everywhere and he said the MF word. He is everywhere. He is like shit. He's like he's like he's a prophet. Son of Muta. <laughs> he's everywhere. <laughs> I I can tell how much pain this guy, ultimate Fakira, he is suffering from. He was really humiliated, calling his prophet the MF word. Unbelievable. Do we have any serious Muslim? He can call us and prove us wrong. As you see, everything we say is in the screen. We are sharing even your Islamic websites. We are giving you the details. We are giving you the reference. Anyone? Who is a Muslim would like really to join us? Why Muslims are so scared to call us, but they are not scared to call like someone like apostate prophet. What is the secret? The only Muslim is exist in the earth is the one who said the F word to his prophet. His name is the ultimate fault. And now he is so upset because we got him taped, recorded when he was giving me example about how his prophet breaking the command of Allah. And because of that, he called him the MF word. Isn't that amazing? I am the only one who made Muslims say the MF word to their prophet. Nobody can do that. You have to face it. When you are making show for atheists to call, are you an atheist, my friend? 
I mean, if I if I speak to an atheist, what they will say to me that he used to be a chimpanzee and he became a human. My friend, you won already. You are a monkey. Okay, I'm not going to debate monkeys. What you would debate a, a, an atheist about? There's nothing to debate. They don't have a book. They don't have anything. There's nothing to debate about. You see, debate. Uh, he will say to you, God does not exist. Okay, and what you want? I want to prove to you that God does not exist. How you stupid, you idiot. How you can prove something not exist if it's not exist? How you can the how you can get the proof proof for that? I mean your logic is awkward. If it's not exist, how you can prove that it's not exist? Because you can only make such a challenge if really you can find evidence of the non-existence. But how you can find evidence of the non-existence of something that exists? Hmm. How can you believe what has no proof? Are you asking me, Andre? You know, all of us we knew that the Jews they hated Jesus in his time, and even until now, many of them they do. Do you know what the Talmud, the books of the Jews, this is not the Torah, says about Jesus? They claim that Jesus he went to Egypt and he learned magic. And this is how he did his miracles. Which mean the enemies of Christ, they are witnessing that Jesus, he did miracles. Correct? Now, you have to prove to me that he was doing that by magic. Nobody believes in such a stupid thing. Magic? What magic? Can you bring somebody from death by magic? Right? Uh, Terminator is saying why you cannot debate ultimate fort Terminator you are ultimate fort himself who said we did not debate ultimate fort we have tons of videos of him go and watch them we are done with this guy he is just filthy mouth so don't be stupid go right now search ultimate Fort Christian Prince you will find tons of videos but this guy is a very filthy mouth he's very low class he's very trashy if you don't like it you can leave I am the kind, if you are filthy towel, I will use you only once. And I will whip you with my shoes. And you will be recorded and you will be all over the internet. And that's why he is so mad. We have hundreds of videos of him calling us. And always he got busted with no mercy. Go watch any of them of your choice and love. Actually, I encourage this son of Muta, if he is a man, to take every single call he have with me and post it as it is in his channel. Do he dare? Think about it. If somebody, he is making good when he speak to me, which means he is making victory, let's say. He's winning. What is the first thing he would do? He will take the video as it is put in his channel. Do we agree? They will never dare to do so. Any Mohammedan? Any brave Muslim? Vishal Nilin Pinto blocked me. Hey, people, if you are here to come in to, you know, to be a kid, we will send you free shipping and handling to Allah. If you are a Muslim, don't complain. Call us. If you are not a Muslim, don't complain. 
We are here. We have a reason for to be here. We are not here to do customer service for you. So if you don't like our channel, take a hike. We are not forcing you to stay. We are not here to be your nanny and your daddy. You don't like it, just go. No need for drama. Like there's a guy, before I go live, he says, Christian Prince, why you care for numbers? You will not go unless you have etc. people. You are acting like Muhammad. So what do you want to start? And there's like just 50 people. Why do you want to do that? Do you think my time is here just to make you have fun and uh, to 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 uh, uh, to be entertainment for you? For sure, we care for number because we want more people to learn. We want more people to see. Otherwise, I don't make money from the numbers. I, do you see advertising in my channel? Do you see a donation? Nothing. The numbers for us is people. How many people are learning? How many people they see? How many people get education? So which one is better for a teacher? He have one student or 10? For sure 10. 20 is better. 30 is even better. This is not a normal average channel you see in the internet. This is a school. And it's a free school. And if you are a person who hate to go to school, well, why you are here? Don't come here. 